seems to work. Next speaker is Rishi, as in the name, but Rishi Kesan, in actually. We'll speak in the name of other people, Apu, I see Hamdetan, who we thank every day, Jan Vanjek, uh, and we'll talk about Primo. I don't think is it the correct yeah. pronunciation. Yeah, Primo. Oh. The new sustainable so solution for publishing. Thank you. Good morning, all, and uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all those uh, who are actually watching the streaming. Uh, and uh, thanks to Tech for uh, making such arrangement. My colleagues and developers of Primo and everyone are actually watching this. Okay. So today we are introducing a new tool called Primo. An authoring, submission, and uh, proofing tool. In the recent past conferences, we introduced Techfolio, Ethel, and Neptune. They actually coming from a company that uh, types at academic journals. And uh, STM Software is a company that uh, produces or uh, it's a developing uh, tools for uh, a company. And uh, uh, normally that company chooses uh, tech conferences for uh, announcing the developments and uh, releasing uh, some new tools. So Primo is uh, designed as a total solution for many of the non-issues in the journal publishing world. Issues, I mean, we are actually typesetters, we, so we daily faces many issues during typesetting because these problems mainly comes from the submission process and review and uh, etc. So we are trying mainly trying to resolve those issues and the beneficiaries mainly would be the first beneficiary will be the author, then the publishers and finally the typesetters. Primo is a cloud-based authoring submission and proofing framework. Uh, in Primo, author plays a major role in the publishing process. So to minimize the post-processing of intervention of the other tools to make the underlying XML valid, speed up the publishing process. So Primo, the underlying thing is actually an XML file. It's a YCV editor. Primo has a YCV editor. Others will be uh, uh, we are thinking others will be composing or making their manuscript in Primo. It's actually uh, uh, written as an XML document. Then it combines advantages of XML-based workflow that facilitate controlled authoring and or editing in accordance with the specific uh, DTDs. Finally, PDF rendering with the help of tech. Even if it's in actually authoring, authors are composing their manuscript in the YCV environment, but they are, they are creating the manuscript and it is written as an XML file. And finally, the article is, I mean, the, that file is converted to a PDF and the PDF is actually created by tech. That is how tech comes into this picture. And we are trying to provide a better user experience with the help of elegant and modern uh, interfaces. Reduce the entity and production effort from authoring to publishing and to target quicker publishing. That's the uh, introduction about uh, Primo. Let's uh, now move on to other details. So other features are a tool from the House of Tech People. So these people already have developed the Techfolio, a typesetting framework. Then either it's, which is actually used for the uh, typesetting of uh, copyleft articles uh, that is uh, in the local language, our local language Malayalam. Then they've already uh, developed uh, Neptune, a LaTeX uh, proofing solution, which is currently being used by uh, many of the authors. And introduces the beauty of tech typesetting to the non-tech community as well. So the authors are, uh, they are not, they, it is not a requirement to learn tech for them. They can use the Vizivik environment. Then the PDF, they can see the beauty of how tech types at their article. 
It is compatible for both tech and non-tech communities. Vicevic and non-Vicevic mode editing. If uh, tech authors are there, or somebody who wants to use tech, they can move to the uh, other mode. Three modules available here, like authoring, submission, and proofing. And collaborative editing is available. Two or more authors can simultaneously uh, contribute uh, or compile their, or I mean, uh, compose their manuscript. Journal template-based PDF generation using tech. Each journal have a different uh, uh, template or design. So the PDF will be created. The the Vicevic environment or will be, will have a common uh, format, but the PDF generated will have a, a, will have the journal style applied to it. Content profiling of the sources, that is actually a very important thing. The typesetters who are actually here will uh, may know about this. Uh, during the submission process, authors will be submitting all the materials available in their folder to the submission system. And all these things will come to the typesetters. So, so the main responsibility, one of the main responsibility of the typesetters is to uh, find out which is the latest file or find out, uh, avoid the uh, unwanted files, etc. Using the right file is the, one of the challenges the typesetters are facing. Uh, so while uh, since they are using this uh, Primo for authoring, they can only uh, use the right kind of files only, and Primo export uh, the uh, sources uh, and make as a zip file, and only the needed file will come to the typesetter. So content profiling will already be, be done there. Overrides the limitations of uh, math rendering in browsers. In math, will be, uh, I mean, they are they'll be looking finally at the PDF output. They will be happy. Four mode editing interface for front matter and bibliography. Another challenge that we are facing is uh, while uh, giving the affiliations, uh, the typesetters sometimes will find it difficult to identify the the, the state, the city, uh, etc. So since all those themselves are uh, filling the form in the proper field like a city, postcode, uh, organization, etc. It is not at all a challenge for the typesetters. A well-designed proofing environment with all relevant features to help uh, easy proofing. Let's uh, look at it later. Since it's XML-based, it's a DTD-compliant tool also. Let's uh, move on. So Primo addresses these basic uh, issues. All those difficulty in understanding the journal's requirement Solution addresses by providing a uh, plug and play type environment. The beneficiary is others. See, the thing is, while submitting, we have faced a lot of questions like uh, which template should I use and uh, similar type of questions. Others will be confused. There's a, uh, the guide for others is already there. It's a lengthy document. Others have to go through it uh, meticulously. That's a difficult process for the others. Sometimes we find it. So. If authors try to compose their manuscript in Primo, the thing is that they just need to choose the journal only. So according to the journal, the style will be selected by Primo, and they can straight away start composing their manuscript uh, uh, without uh, carrying the styles, etc. The style will be appropriate according to the journal. Then multiple authors need to work on the same documents. Well, that's uh, really a collaboration. Uh, two or more authors can uh, collaboratively work on the uh, same document. Chances of mis missing materials during submission process that I already uh, explained before. It's a, uh, sometimes when all the submit manuscripts, they will forget to submit the figures, the supplementary material, or any other input files or style files, etc. Since uh, the uh, Primo will export the right file, right kind of files, uh, there's no chances of missing. When there comes any missing materials, the, what the typesetters needs to, they have to contact the author. Sometimes authors will be on vacation or somewhere. So it will actually uh, cause delay in the production process. So this type of communication and other uh, problems can be eliminated. Then back and forth querying for problems in the source that I just uh, explained. Other formats and document without knowing the final look and feel of the published article, journal-based templates is the solution, and beneficiary is the authors, typesetters, and publishers. Yeah, I explained it before. 
that is, uh, they don't need to know how it, it will look like in the output. They just need to uh, start composing their manuscript as slash, I mean, the title, author, affiliation, abstract, etc. And uh, uh, regarding the style, etc., some journals require, th there will be certain, uh, uh, I mean, specification like minimum five keywords should be needed or uh, more than three keywords are necessary or abstract is compulsory, graphical abstract is compulsory or the biography is needed, etc. Uh, these informations are actually available in the gate for others only. Uh, if without reading this, if others start using this uh, Primo interface, this will, when they choose the uh, journal name, for example, if, uh, for example, it's uh, end to end journal, then as soon as they start, uh, start typing in, it will, the, the message will pop up. The key, keywords, uh, you have given only five keywords, it is six keywords are mandatory. You, ha you have been provided the multimedia component, it is mandatory. These type of uh, warning will also come. So others are uh, free uh, or uh, for, without thinking uh, any other thing they can easily compose this. Uh, di difficulty in uh, converting to different journal template when it's uh, rejected is easy formatting. That, uh, so we heard that uh, sometimes others will be uh, submitting uh, one, their article to one journal and it may have, uh, it may be rejected due to some non-compliance. So when they are about to submit to a different journal, they have to reformat it according to the specification of that journal. So it's a tedious process. They Again, they have to read the, all the specifications, etc. So. Here, when they come, <coughs> since it, it, it produces output, they can compose, uh, compose it in a uh, standard format. They can just import their uh, XML file to here. That will actually, uh, and they need to select the journal to which they are going to uh, submit. Uh, that article will be formatted uh, according to the journal style. They don't need to bother about the style of the journal B or A. Difficulty in identifying the surname, given name, city, state, postcode, etc. These are the, the form of uh, 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 editing that helps others uh, and or uh, uh, others see the typesetting is uh, only uh, PDF is no not uh, in, in typesetting. We need to create the XML, etc. So for the XML we need to tag the names properly, like given name, surname, the postcode, city, all those things, etc. So it, it is, sometimes it will be uh, difficult to identify the given name, surname in, of uh, different countries for the typesetters or the operators. So since others are filling their names properly in, the, in these fields, uh, typesetters' type, type uh, job is uh, much more easy. So since already these data are filled in the proper field. Problems in the submission process support uh, seeking time and delay. Unnecessary querying is uh, not at all required since all the right kind of files will only be uh, sent to the typesetters. Constraints in the submission system, uh, it's a user-friendly submission process. Very uh, simple uh, interface is uh, provided for uh, others to submit. Constraints in the HTML proofing system, tech, uh, tech generates, it is all about uh, the, the proofing system. And uh, since tech generates PDF, uh, others can finally and look at the PDF and approve their manuscript. Problems with unformatted PDF generated by the browser, since we have some uh, uh, HTML-based proofing solutions currently available, and uh, sometimes others are complaining about the formatting, they have to approve the, their corrections only looking at the way how their article format in the HTML. Uh, or in the browser. So since tech is generating the PDF of their manuscript in the final format, according to the journal style, they only need to, uh, they can uh, uh, look at it and uh, they can understand how it will uh, look like in the final article. Validating corrections, others can, uh, this is another thing, during the correction stages, others will be giving high number of uh, corrections or inserting new tables, uh, new figures, etc., which are not allowed in the correction stage after the proofing, in the proofing stage. So when others are trying to do no more number of corrections or uh, 
uh, inserting a new figure or uh, new tables, etc. After the, this is uh, just need to remember that this is actually happening after the review process and typesetting. So in the after the typesetting during the proofing stages, these are not actually allowed. When they need to insert a new table and a new figure or new content, new paragraphs, etc., that need to be reviewed properly also. So when they try to do this, uh, that will be validated. It will give a warning to the author, and they need to get consent. Unavailability of a file manager. Uh, the person, the, so in uh, I mean in uh, Primo, we have a uh, efficient uh, file manager. Others can do all the process. Uh, I mean, just like in any system or, or operate systems, they can use that file manager. Yeah, user-friendly uh, submission system. This is a workflow. It's uh, sometimes it will be look, uh, complicated, but uh, it's uh, so easy. I can uh, explain it uh, clearly. We can just forget about the second part, the neon part. That is solely for creating the PDF only. So the, the first one is actually the Primo. Uh, others uh, uh, compose their manuscript in the YCV XML editor. Then when they need to need a PDF out of it, they just need to press a button that XML will be converted to a text file and goes to uh, neon and create a PDF. Similarly, they can, uh, I mean, the content profiling will be done in uh, Primo. Then after content profiling, they can, say when they are uh, sure all the materials are available there, they can uh, send the, uh, download the file, export their uh, source file, and upload to their submission system. And if they need a PDF also, they just need to press the button that will go to the source file, will go to the uh, new system and uh, will generate a PDF. So the review process, then if they need a data set or uh, an article to be uh, published uh, earlier than it's, uh, before it's copy editing or proofing, et cetera, they can create a uh, data set also. So copy editing can also be done in Primo. The source, source is uh, in Primo, so it can be, the process can be continued. The pagination and author proofing then uh, master copy, that is the correction stage after this uh, author proofing stage. Everything can be done in Primo. So this can be done in the YCV editor or the other mode. So when they need a PDF, they just need to press the button that uh, XML file will be transferred to the uh, Neon uh, system and PDF will be uh, generated. So, I already said Primo has uh, actually three uh, modes. Uh, one is the authoring tool. So there's a file manager uh, in Primo, and all the file operations like uh, creating a document, editing, renaming, moving, zip, unzip, uploading, downloading, etc. All that you do in a file manager can be done there. Others can prepare a new document in YCVIG mode. They can create aesthetically beautiful PDFs using tech without knowing tech. They can create a document according to the DTD the publisher uses. So uh, uh, during the proofing stage, there will not be any such queries regarding the uh, uh, content of their manuscript. LaTeX mass editing tools available. Those who actually know LaTeX, they can use the LaTeX mass editing. Spell checking, word, sorry, word count, etc. Then hyperlinking. Then sharing the document with the others and, uh, and collaborative editing is available in the authoring tool. So the submission tool, since the materials created will be according to the journal style, by default, no need of uh, referring to the lengthy guide for others. So this is, this is uh, in the submission system. Usability of checking and uh, usability checking ensures all the contents are available to avoid the missing materials. Download the required files only as a bundle to load them to the publisher's uh, submission system. For submitting the article, they just need to export their uh, source file and upload the same to the submission system. The bundle will contain a manifest XML which will show the proper file type to be selected uh, in the publisher's uh, submission tool. So while uploading the source file to the submission system, there should be some specification like each file should be, some file category should be selected for each file. Uh, this will give a help to the author to which file should be selected in which category. This is the finally the proofing tool. Typesetters, after typesetting, they load the XML, with, uh, which, are, which is included in the data set, with the XML version of the manuscript. 
along with the necessary assets like artwork, multimedia, content, etc., to the drive, which will in turn the, uh, create, return a unique URL to the uh, document. The typesetters need to send the uh, URL to the uh, uh, author. Using that URL, author can access uh, their proof. They first need to uh, start looking at the track changes. Track changes gives what are the changes the uh, typesetters uh, have actually made to their article. They can uh, approve it or reject it, uh, the, those changes. A lot of uh, queries will be there regarding the content sometimes. So others need to go through each and every queries and need to resolve. Without resolving all the queries, they cannot uh, submit at all. Continue editing and the mode of operation is self-explanatory. Others can guide themselves uh, and reach out to the features, uh, functions available for editing without the help of the support. Uh, make changes, ensure the corrections in the code, generate a PDF and confirm the PDF version. If any further corrections are seen, just make it in the editor and again create a PDF. So one more thing, the corrections will be marked definitely in the underlying XML. Corrections can be done or verified simultaneously by uh, multiple authors. Access can be restricted to view only or edit mode while sharing. When in collaboration mode, others, the corresponding author or the first author can restrict uh, other authors' uh, permission, like uh, whether it is only in the read-only mode or it should be in uh, editing mode. Version control is available. If uh, too many changes they have done, it is, if it is too difficult to undo every changes, then they can take the previous version if they already have saved it. So this is still under development that I uh, told before. So that the timeline is actually given here. Proofing tool is the first module that uh, uh, they are actually going to uh, develop. That the timeline is May 2024 and authoring tool by December 2024 and uh, the submission review tool by 2025 April. These are some uh, slides, uh, I mean, the screenshots of the, the uh, Primo. The first one is the toolbar, second, the, the drive, Primo drive, and third one, how to import the document, the menu available, import a new doc, start a new document or a folder or a import a document. Then fourth one is you can sort the, the file listing. This is the main page of Primo. On left hand side, the navigation for navigation pur purpose, the table of contents. Then in the middle, the main document part. Right hand side, the track changes, comments, queries, etc. <coughs> this is the math rendering. See, uh, LaTeX authors can edit in the LaTeX code, and just above it, other uh, uh, non LaTeX users can use the keyboard and uh, edit the math in very civic mode. Uh, on the left hand side, this is a form for uh, entering the front matter like other free area, other uh, uh, name. Then uh, second is, uh, is the same thing. We can see the more uh, fields are available according to the DTD, whatever the DTD allows, all the details are here, they can enter. Affiliation. They can straight away uh, 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 fill in the organization, address, city, state, etc. Then uh, the bibliography uh, is here. This is how it's rendered. These are the figures. The figure details are uh, on the right. Others can see then uh, the. I mean the uh, the resolution or the file size, etc., and uh, choose the right figure. This is how the PDF uh, will look like, uh, which is created by Neon. It is uh, uh, according to a journal standard. Math. So technologies behind Primo, actually, actually I'm incapable of <laughs> explaining all these things. This is too much for me. So if you have any questions, you can straight away direct to the developers. Thank you. If you okay, I can take a few questions. Uh,
Thank you. Thank you. No. It's on? Yes. Okay. Are, are there any questions? Okay. Thank you. Uh, will it be possible to use the system on premise? Uh, I'm sorry, can you say again? What? Can you, can you say again? I didn't get it. Uh, okay. Uh, will it be possible to use this system on premise uh, in the house, or not, not only in the cloud? Um, not really? <laughs> Locally. Locally? Yeah, actually, it is uh, only available in the cloud. You, you, have, you, want, you want to uh, uh, install this in your server? I can put it on my local cloud? No, no. That, is not, uh, that is not available. OK. Any other question? OK, thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. So